Hi, I'm Jim, and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. And yeah, up here in Michigan, it's cold, so it's time to dig out the flannels. <laughs> and uh, before I get started on my video today, I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a very healthy and safe New Year. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It is totally free. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. And it will make the difference of keeping me on YouTube or just drying up and blowing away. So with that, I want to get into the video. But first, I have an apology to make. I lost an email. It's really easier than you think, seeing I get about, it's slowing down. I'm getting 50 to 80 a day. But unless I mark it somehow, in two or three days, that email is way back there and I can't find it. But I had a viewer that bought a plow for the front of his snapper. And the only part that didn't come with it is the rod that holds it up when you lift the plow up. I've got the dimensions for the rod and if you get back with me I'd be more than happy to share them with you and he mentioned he may not be able to make one on his own because he doesn't have the equipment. Get a hold of me and I'll make it for you and send it to you and Merry Christmas. Now today's video I had a viewer get a hold of me and say I just bought a snapper and it came with a factory mounted battery charger. Well, as far as I know, snapper has never done that. You may have got it from the original owner that mounted a battery charger on it. <clears throat> and I have a few here and I have some batteries. And there's a large misconception on batteries these will leak <laughs> do not stand your machine up with the battery in it uh, if you're going to do it for 10 or 15 minutes to change the blade or something fine but if it's standing up for more than a half an hour please take that battery out because it will leak and it will run down on your aluminum carburetor and all your wiring and that is not a good thing. It's not that hard to pop these out and it will save a lot of headache and grief. <clears throat> now, the difference between these batteries. Uh, let me drag you a little closer. These are three main types of batteries. This one has the caps you can pop off and put water in and keep it full. This one, I'll guarantee you, it's going to leak if you turn it over for about five minutes. This one is what they call maintenance free. Well, the only reason they call it that is because you can't open it to put water in it, so it won't last as long as one of these. These are about $50, $59, depending where you buy them. These are anywhere from $15 to $19.95, depending where you buy them. And these are about $100. Bucks. This one is supposed to be maintenance-free. And it will leak, because if you look real close, I can't get you too close. Right here is a vent hole. Let me bring that up there. Right there. And there's one on this side. So if you tip that over, battery acid's gonna come out of them holes. Now this one, this is the style they're putting in all the new snappers from about at least 2012, maybe 11, I don't know. Mine's a 2012 and it had this battery in it. This one they tell me is guaranteed it will not leak. There is no vent holes. There's no caps, 
it is a solid plastic box. And look at there. It's made in China. <laughs> oh, don't get me going on that. But they tell me this one will not leak. You don't have to take it out of your machine. Well, my machine is standing up. And you see where the battery is. I don't think I'm going to trust it. Now, as far as <clears throat> this viewer having a battery charger on his machine and wanting to know if he should plug it in, I'm trying to find a rag. Every time he gets off it, I would say no, because you can overcharge a battery and hurt it. And here's a couple different chargers I have here. This one I got as a Christmas present back in 1997. And the only reason I know that, it's not because I remembered it, it's wrote on the inside cover. <laughs> this one I've had about, I don't know, three or four years. And these I bought, I have two of them, a few years back when I stored my truck, my little Blue Ranger. I put that on the, on the uh, battery. Now I just take it out and put it over there in a the corner where it's warm and it's fine. These are just a cheap, er, inexpensive charger that does have a 2 amp, 10 amp, and a 55 amp starting mode. And it also has a 6 volt, 10 amp charging mode. It tells you how old that is. And it has a range over here. It'll, it'll go clear up to the 10, depending on how dead the battery is. And then it'll come down to the zero when it's charged. But it will not automatically shut off. Whoops, sorry. It will continue to probably trickle charge until you take it off. Which you can overcharge a battery. This charger... I'm not sure, 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 sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Schumacher? I don't know. There's the name. I'll let you pronounce it. This one is fully automatic. It has a regular battery type and a deep cycle battery type. For like a boat battery, they're deep cycles. Or battery on a lift truck. Then over here it has a 2 amp, 12 amp, and a 75 amp starting mode. And I'll tell you, you put that in 75, it'll start your car or your tractor or whatever you're trying to start. This one is fully automatic. When it gets charged, it'll come all the way down to, this one works backwards than that one. This one starts out at zero if the battery's totally dead. And it's, 70, it's got 25%, 50 75 and 100% charged. Then this little green light will come on. It says fully charged. And it will shut off. It won't continue to trickle charge your battery. This is a much better one to buy if you're going to buy one. But they're $75 to $95 a piece. But you buy a good one, it's going to last you the rest of your life. These are very well made uh, chargers. Now this one, this is a 2 amp maintainer charger. This is made so if you only use your machine, I bought one of these for my boss, and if you only use your machine like once every week or once every two weeks, and you're having trouble with your battery, you can put this on and it will keep it charged and it won't overcharge it. Fully automatic. And uh, this came from uh, one of the big box stores, not my favorite one. And it was 1999, 1997, sorry. And it was back. <laughs> Had this for a while. This is 2016. But it comes with two different ends. Now the way I hooked it up on my bosses, 
you can hook this right to the battery and run this out somewheres that you can get to. And it even has a little cap that covers up the contacts. But it still wouldn't hurt to put some dielectric grease on there so they don't corrode. Or this one snaps on and it works like a regular battery charger if you want to put this end on it. And this is made so you can, I can get this off. This is made so you can hang it from somewheres or just set it on the shelf. It cords quite long. And then on the end, on the output side, you have the plug that either one of these two ends go on. But this is a, the way you want to go if you're going to maintain the battery when it's sitting for a while. This is fully electric or automatic, I should say, and it's good for a 6 volt or a 12 volt battery, whichever one you have. And it's got lights inside that will tell you this one will light up. It's a little sad face that will tell you if your battery's just junk. And this one, this one will light up if you have the polarity backwards on the battery. And then it has a little light in the center that tells you that it's on. Well, let's plug it in and see what it looks like. And there you go. And at first, this light was lit up. All of them light up to let you know that they are working. And then the little power light will be on. It tells you that it's plugged in and your outlet, you hadn't blown a fuse and your outlet is working. But if you're going to put a charger on your machine, please make sure it is one of these, not one of these. If that's on there all the time, turned on, you can literally boil your battery dry and it will ruin your battery. So just a little note on batteries and chargers and to help out this viewer. Um, that's what I that's what I do on this channel. I'm trying to help you out and educate you a little bit on things that you need to fix or things you're thinking about buying. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't relate strictly to snappers. I fix anything, household items. Uh, I've built houses in the past, built garages, decks. I even built a bridge on my boss's mother's house. Uh, it was six foot wide, spanned 25 feet over a creek, and she drove her tractor over it to dump the leaves. I'll have to say that was probably the most fun and enjoyable project I ever built because I built it complete in my driveway and all screwed together, all painted, and the neighbors really wondered what I was doing <laughs> because the bridge was actually arced like a normal bridge. And then it was completely disassembled, loaded on a trailer and taken over <coughs> and installed over her crypt, which was a little interesting also. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. I want to keep going and I want to keep helping people uh, fix the things they need fixed. Like I said, it's not just snappers, uh, craftsmen, uh, Husqvarna. Uh, uh, my neighbor, I, I rebuilt hers, hers is a husky. They're all about the same. Snowblowers, we rebuilt them. Lord knows I, I've got an old craftsman out in my garage that I bought 47 years ago and it was used when I bought it. It's back when we had the big storm in, what was it, 78 or something, I don't even remember. But done a lot of work on that old girl to keep her running. And it has the original engine, and it still runs. 
So I always say if you're going to buy something, buy the best one you can afford and it will last you the rest of your life if you take care of it. So please subscribe. It is free. And until next time, work safe, have fun, have a merry and safe Christmas and New Year, and keep on snapping. Talk to you soon. So long.